All right, y'all. After lowering the suspension on the Hawk 250 in the rear, I noticed another problem. You know, when I first started riding this with my new boots, I had to raise the uh, gear shift lever. And now that I lowered the rear shock, it seems like the gear shift lever is a little bit too high. And I have to really stretch my foot upward to shift it. So now I'm gonna adjust it downward a little bit. Maybe bring it down to about right here if I can. You know, everything happens for a reason and it's probably a blessing. Cause look at this, what colors that is. It's probably meant to be that it was loose. So I'll notice I can re redo it. Just come right off. Give it a little wiggle action. So we really have the lever shoved all the way back on the sprocket where it should be. And I put a different screw in there. This one was all chewed up. This bolt was all chewed up. On the end. Wouldn't penetrate all the way through. So I replaced it with a Phillips head. Same diameter. I also had this one. This one's a little shorter. I still have to screw it in a little bit further, but before I screw it all the way in, I'm gonna put this boot on and see how it feels. See how it feels on the foot. Crap. Same situation I was having before. I can't get my foot underneath it. So I'm not so sure if it was a problem with the uh, gear shifter being down too high up too high or if it was just uh, hanging loose so we're going to go ahead and put it back where we can get our boot underneath it and make sure it's shoved in there all the way like it should be so I'm pretty sure the only reason why I was working before is because it was not all the way in there because now that it's all the way in there we've got some more vicing and hammering to do folks I don't want to have to keep coming back and doing this over and over again. I think this looks like a serious bend. Man, it has some serious angle on it, doesn't it? Might have put it out too far. We're going to find out. Oh yeah, that works. Before we lock it down, let's put the boot on and test it out. Might want to change that angle a little bit but for now it's all good I think <laughs> about to find out these are not my riding pants Angle's a little nasty on there, but other than that, I can shift it. It's probably perfect. Let's not go messing with what works. I'm gonna tighten that sucker up. down I only starting to do something right here y'all no lock
Loctite, but uh, I think that's all right. It feels good. Seems a little high, but that seems right. There's no one way to find out. Is she ready? She's ready. All right. It's brand new, y'all. Feels brand new. Those leaves were slippery. See how it is to shift it. That was easy. Easy. You may have solved that problem, y'all. Unless we get to take the kickstand on. Put the kickstand on. Oh. I haven't been here in person in forever. I'm gonna go see if the guys I know are in the window. What's up, bro? <laughs> yeah. I'm gonna put in like three dollars. I'm just kidding. We'll put in as much as we can. Yeah, baby. I just flooded some gas. So I'm like, is it full? The sucker's full, baby. Yeah. Almost four dollars. That's a uh, 1.298 gallons. Yeah, that's cool. All right, now we got to get back home, y'all. Now we got to get her back. There we go. Let's take a look at her. About 250. First time getting gas. Look, y'all, 371. And she's full. She was pretty much empty. Yeah, let's go a different way. Let's make it a little interesting. Baby. 
ebe, né?